Hello, I'm AbbyX Toycats, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. Today, I'm going to be doing something rather different and rather, I think, kind of fun because there's a brand new version of Minecraft out on the Xbox. And one of the first things a lot of people ask me to do, and one of my favorite things uh, that I like to do with any version of Minecraft, is to see how fast I can get from spawning in in a world to the end. So, today, when we're doing this challenge on the brand new version, is it going to be faster? Is it going to be slower? It should be a lot slower, actually, because the nether is more spread out, the world is more spread out, so it should take thousands of blocks to get to a stronghold, but I have a preset seed here that should make it a lot faster, in theory. That's the theory. Let's see how fast we can go from, uh, you know, pressing the create game and being in the game to actually having the thing go. So just in case you're curious, we have a timer. I'm going to be uh, setting it up on screen here. Um, it's on one second, two seconds. It eventually shows up after two seconds, but the moment I, uh, uh, I can actually see and control the world, I'm going to hit go on this thing and it's gonna activate. So yeah, we're gonna do that in a second, but for now, let's get straight into it and let's just hit go. So in case you're curious, the seed is village, please. Uh, we don't have anything turned on besides a starting map. Honestly, we could have the starting map turned off and I think because there's no coordinates, we might as well. So yeah, let's let's get straight into it. Let's do this. I'm a little bit scared I've messed up somewhere on the road. Like, oh yeah, this is a key thing. Solo speed run, let's do it. I'm excited. Are you all of you excited? Hello, live stream chat. Let's do this today. So. Um, I'm gonna hit go the moment I can actually see my character and I can do something and then it shows on screen two seconds later So it's not that I'm not pressing it. It's that you don't get to see it because a weird bug with OBS I don't even know but yeah, here we go. Okay, we've done it. We hit go. Let's do this So this is the world as you can see our very first priority because it spawns in a village Because when you ask for village, please you're gonna get village is to go straight to the blacksmith chest There's a blacksmith chest over there and there's one over here as well So we'll go to this one first because it's further away I mean, it doesn't actually matter which order we go to them in, but we'll go to this one first regardless. Uh, because this one, I believe, contains a few small goodies, and the other one contains something that you're going to see why I think it's a lot easier. So yeah, we get some saplings, which is nice. We get some bread, which is useful. And uh, we get a sword, so we can hit some stuff, which is, uh, I don't know, we're in a village. Maybe we want to kill some villagers rather than trade with them. I'm not sure why I would, but <laughs> it's something you can entirely do there. So the second thing we're going to go to get is the second blacksmith chest, because I know a free set of goodies. It's just something you got to do, right? So uh, yeah, also we could take a furnace spot we're here, it makes sense, but we're not going to today because we don't have a pickaxe. So this chest is the reason this seed is so amazing. Again, you just saw me load it up. It has six diamonds, if I'm not mistaken, plus four uh, free apples, plus some bread. So we get all the food we need. We've got the basis for some golden apples or like the start of a golden apple. And uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing not so bad, are we? So now we're gonna run back this way, get the uh, wood from the, <laughs> so yeah, six diamonds in uh, one minute and six seconds. So that could have been faster if I went straight there, but so we're doing pretty well for ourselves for a minute in. That's why I think we might be able to do this in, uh, you know, like less than a couple of hours or something like that. Again, I feel like, uh, I think the fastest I've ever done it was like an hour and like 40 minutes or something. Uh, let's see if we can do it much faster. Uh, break the chest, it's faster, and get you a chest. Yeah, that would have been a good tip, actually. Um, again, I, I'd like to do a refined speed run in like a few weeks when the game fully comes out. But for now, this is just like, a, let's see how fast we can do it for the very first time. I haven't killed the Ender Dragon on this run at all, so just keep that in mind as you're seeing what we do here. So next up, we'll go find ourselves a crafting table. Actually, it's faster just to craft one. <laughs> like we could get one for free, but we don't even need to. So we'll make all of that, and then we'll go make a crafting table and a bunch of sticks, just like all the sticks we'll need all game. And now let's do this. So crafting table down there, make ourselves a pickaxe, and then go straight for the uh, cobblestone. Way we can do that is just by mining the village. Again, it's, <laughs> it's not, this isn't what you'd usually want to do in Minecraft, like when you're playing survival, because like you, you don't need to ruin your village. But in our case, we just want to like go straight through the stuff as fast as we humanly can. And we've done that. So now we've got enough stone to get ourselves uh, really anything we want. We'll mine this just to be uh, careful. But the next thing we're going to do is go underground. So I'll make a shovel now because it will save myself a little bit of time. We make ourselves a shovel and let's do this. So let's throw this in there, uh, go like that. And now we're going to start digging down because the black, uh, the uh, sorry, the stronghold is found just below this area and we can get there very quickly. Oh, there's a bridge there. That's cute. Um, so yeah, we're going to go down below the, I guess below the desert and just uh, hope we get straight into it. Um, I'd rather actually like chop down a bunch of trees and do it that way, but we might find iron if we do it like this for now. So we'll have a, we'll have a staircase going and that can be our little thing. So big thank you for the $2 super chat. Dog huge, uh, 10 uh, I do appreciate it very much. And if you don't have the better together update, uh, you can still play during live streams when I play mini games. There will be more of those, especially when the live maps comes out and if any more battle map comes out. Uh, and if there's a battle mini game update, I'll be live streaming those as they happen. However, before then, uh, you know, like, uh, th that's that's the best way if you want to play with me and you don't have the new version. So easy as that. Boom, we found some iron. Isn't that convenient? So we got ourselves enough iron to do something we want to do with it. Like make an iron pickaxe, make an iron axe. And now we're going to like spam, uh, no wait, we're going to get an iron axe, chop down a bunch of trees, 
And then I think that can be our thing. So, <laughs> oh, we could have gone straight for a diamond axe, actually. It's not worth doing, but we could have gone for a diamond pickaxe or something. Uh, again, small, small efficiency error we made there. And uh, actually, you know, what? I, I think that might actually be a big enough thing for me to want to restart. Like, not necessarily a big enough thing, but like, maybe, right? I mean, we could save some serious time. Again, if I do it again, I will keep that in mind. So we want a diamond pickaxe regardless, uh, but we don't want a diamond axe. We want to smelt our stuff. <laughs> So let's, let's do this. Let's go over to the blacksmith chest. Again, this is just kind of a convenience place. And let's do it. So let's go throw this thing over there. Uh, so again, what field of view do you use? I use the default one uh, on console. That's 670, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's 65. Uh, most console games have a similar FOV. I'm just, I always forget what the FOV is. Um, so we wait for this to smelt. And while this is in the smelter, uh, I guess we'll make ourselves a bed because we don't really need the night. Well, we do for Enderman, but it's not essential, so... I guess we'll take the torches. That's nice. I, I could do with some torches. Uh, because, yeah, the villagers have these little black posts around them. Which, if I'm not mistaken, the the wall being black is a console feature. I think that came to console first. If not, that's where I saw it first. And now we can just go straight to our iron X. And we can chop down all the trees. So the reason we want to chop down all of the trees is because... Uh, so as you can see, just go like that. Uh, grab ourselves an iron axe and chop down, like I said, all the trees. We just want all the wood we can get our hands on. Uh, can you do a tour of me and my friend's creative world? It says uh, dog huge uh, 110 uh, The best way if you want me to see your world is to send uh, pictures of it via Twitter, because, again, like, working out which console you're on, trying to remove a friend, like, it's... There's a reason I don't do world tours at all. It's, like, it's a horrendous, like, uh, effort. But I appreciate the offer. I'd, I'd love to see your world sometime. Uh, but it's just like hard to set up, so I, I don't necessarily do it. Um, so now we've got ourselves enough for an iron pickaxe, but I don't need that anymore. So I've got like a full set of gear already. Um, and I guess we'll just chop down some more trees. I guess a bucket, a bucket, that's what we need. So let's make ourselves one of those now, wherever a bucket is found. And let's fill it with water. Water is just a, a good safety implement. You want to always have some of that with you. Again, that will come in handy later on for reasons you'll see in a little bit. But for now, again, a bunch of trees is all we need. Let's get this sorted. Um, so, so Kat, can you turn off the on-screen tooltips? Um, I, I'm gonna turn them off at some point in the future, once people are like 100% convinced it's Xbox. Because right now it's the easiest way to like, fill people in that it's Xbox. Because it says on the top of the screen, but like, you know, you might not believe that. Oh, I, I'm not even sure. Like, I just wanna, <laughs> I, don't, I, want, I don't want there to be uh, any question on whether this is a, a thing or not. So I accidentally have like a Facebook tab open. I'm sorry about that like, weird noise you just heard there. So I'm gonna like, try and desperately find out which one it is. Uh, I guess it's that one. Okay, there we go. And we get rid of that. I've just got like a billion tabs open at all times. So apparently one of them is Facebook. And someone sent a Facebook message. So who was it? Let's find out next time on the Toy Cat thing. So yeah, six minutes in. We're doing pretty good. We've got like a full set of tools. Uh, we're gonna have some good food uh, going along. I don't have Twitter or social media. Um, isn't YouTube social media? You know, actually, you know, there's a debate for the comments. Is YouTube social media? I don't honestly, I, like, it sort of is and isn't at the same time. But big thank you for the super chat one more time. Very appreciated and, uh, you know, gets me one step closer towards buying the jet ski, which is the, is the dream. So, you're funding the jet ski dream and that's all that matters right now. So we'll chop down this tree, kill those pork chops. Cool. Though, I mean, they're more than pork chops, but they're pork chops to me. <laughs> and then we'll use that to get some stuff done. So easy stuff. Let's do this. So that's, that's got to be enough wood for, like, all the ladders I'll need today. And that's gonna be all the pork chops for like the boss fight, I guess. <sighs> Maybe the never two actually. There's a lot of food consumed as you do stuff that you don't even realize. Like it kind of just sneaks up on you sometimes. But we got bread for until then. It's all good, it's all good. Let's do this, let's go. YouTube is social media. What makes it social media though? I mean like, I guess we're being social. I'm, I'm being social with all of you right now. We're having a wonderful conversation about social media. <laughs> <laughs> using social media, da -da 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 -da. Um, but I don't know, I don't know for certain. So next step, we're gonna make ourselves just all the planks in the world. We don't need wood for any reason, so just, can we just make all of it? We can. Just make giant stacks, make that into one big thing. And now we make all the ladders we can. We don't have that much sticks, we just make a bunch of, oh, you can make a stack at a time, okay. And then we'll make a stack of these at a time, or, as many of those as we can. That's a lot of ladders, but I think we'll still need more. We need them for the never, uh, sorry, for the end. And we need them for something we'll, I'll show in a second. It's pretty nuts actually, but yeah. So we've got enough of this to do most of what we want to do for now. Let's go below ground. <laughs> Look, the villages have just kind of formed into one, like, or merged into one 
like mega village. It's pretty cool to see actually. And then we'll start digging down from here. You might think why here toy cat, but it'll be faster each time we go up and down. So we'll do it this way to again, save time later on down the line. So let's go, 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 go. And let's mine, let's mine. So, oh wow, we're there already. So I thought, I didn't know it was that close to the stronghold. I am actually genuinely surprised by that. I thought it was a little bit higher at lower down, but we're already in our stronghold by nine minutes. So things are looking pretty promising, but the big question is like, how about the Never Toy Cat? And that is the big one you gotta care about. But first we gotta find like a solid way from here to the uh, the portal. Also, loot all the chests, which get stuff like infinity and knockback and unbreaking. Not actually useful for this run, but still, it's good that they exist, right? <laughs> is the seed available for 360? Uh, no, so because the Pock Edition worlds are, oh, sorry, the Bedrock Edition slash new console edition worlds are infinite, Oh wow, the end portal is just over there. It's just in front. Okay, this is a perfect spawn for this race, I think. I think I got very lucky with this seed. Well, I mean, it's a seed I looked up, but it's still lucky to... Oh no, we're not killing them fast enough, so we're causing them to like make other ones spawn. Oh man, okay, let's just... The spawner needs to go. That much we can agree on. And there's only one chasing me now. Okay, there's two chasing me. We'll jump over them. Ouch. <laughs> and let's move on back to the spawn. They'll despawn. And we'll be in a good place. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well already. We've got that sorted. Now we just need to make a ladder way up here. Like, I'm not even sure. Like, here? <laughs> okay, wait. Just chop that. Don't even care. Let's go. Then we'll place a ladder there. And then this is this is next level strategy, right? You might not know you could do this unless you watched all the Toy Cat videos, in which case, good. You place a ladder on the other side of the, uh, the fence and it lets you get over it. So, boom. Now we're over. We should have to get around to there. <laughs> and we're done. Okay, sorted. Oh, it looks like there was probably an easy way to climb up here. So, for future, there we go. Now we've got our stronghold sorted. We've got... What's a speedrun? A speedrun is usually known for other games, like Minecraft. You know, Minecraft has an end, but it's not really the end for most people. But we're going from the very start to the very end of the game as fast as we humanly can. A uh, big thank you, by the way, over 9,000 GOAT for the $1 Super Chat. Always appreciated. That, sp that, that jet ski is getting closer and closer. You better believe it. So, uh, yeah, during the night time, we're going to be killing Enderman, if we can. We'll use our cobblestone to do that, I guess. Uh, so, place the cobblestone there. And we need a chest pretty badly. Oh, the zombie's coming away. So, uh, yeah, we might just have to accept that the village will turn into a zombie village. Oh, more leggings. <laughs> How handy of uh, the game for offer. So, we'll mine through here, just so we can get straight to the chest. And now we start throwing just stuff we don't need, but like, I feel bad just throwing away because I'm not sure if I need them into there and we're good. So now we're going to go to the place I mentioned earlier. The reason I need all these ladders uh, besides the end. And that is the fact that if we head in this direction, there is a brand new feature. Only came in the 1.2 beta. Well, again, for Pocket Edition, for console, we've had these for, for four, five years now. Uh, Almost exactly five years. It's like four years and like 11 months. It is everyone's favorite generated structure, or least favorite, I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, it is the ravine. So we got one, all we have to do is like climb into that mountain, which is apparently easier said than done. I know I should have made these slabs, but whatever, I've got blocks. I don't have time to follow normal rules. And inside there we'll find a bunch, and by that I mean like a real bunch of, um, gonna find a bunch of uh, lava. We're gonna use our water, which we have right here, to turn all of it into obsidian. Mine, ten of the obsidian, run back with it, and then go to the nether. Because the nether finds you blazes, and I believe, I haven't actually checked if this came to the Pocketition yet, it should also bring endermen. So we get the things we want, the things we need, all the good stuff. So yeah, as you can see, there's a big ravine here. I guess we'll just hop in. <laughs> what could go wrong with just hopping in? And now we're good. So we'll place some water there, get some obsidian going, and then mine below the obsidian. Again, this seems silly on the surface. But I swear there is like genuine thought going into this. And because on the brand new version, Bedrock's mined a lot faster. I'm just going to mine this very quickly. Pick it up. And then turn this into a thing. And so on and so forth. So we only need 10 bits. And then we're good. We could even do less than that by using the, uh, the blacksmiths too. It might be worthwhile to try. Oh no. Oh, thank god that happened. Uh, so, yeah, I've got to be really careful of, like, mobs coming in here, because one mob could ruin my day if I'm not careful. So I'm going to make sure that he doesn't. It's good. 
So Toy Cat, um, what is the race at the end? Uh, I I wish I put it in the description. I usually like to explain these things, but the long story short is we're racing to the end. That's what the time is for. It's so we can see how fast we're doing it. And we're going pretty fast so far, I'd say. We're gonna be in the nether in 15 minutes. We found the stronghold. We've got all the equipment we realistically need. Uh, I'm not even sure what we're really missing here, but good, good stuff, basically. Oh, and because this ravine is so low down, like, this is the biggest ravine I've ever seen. Because the ravine is so absurdly low down, we should be able to find, like, golden diamonds and stuff. So, even better stuff. So, yeah, um... <laughs> hello, darkness, my young friend. It is quite dark, I would admit, so we should say hello to the darkness, because it is our old friend. See, that's... I mean, every there's got to be someone who, like, doesn't understand. That, sh that happens to me every now and then, actually, like, where... There's like these really famous like internet jokes and I'm like, I'm not sure. Oh wow, I said I'd find diamonds and then there was literally some behind the block I was mining. So this is the luck you get on the pocket edition, or on the bedrock edition it seems. Yeah, I mean it's, it's the pocket edition, it's, it's, it's the version you play on your phone. But I feel like you're probably meant to call it the thing. But whatever, so there we go. We got ourselves four sets. Oh no, I think I lost the diamond. Okay, so we've got six diamonds now. Uh, I could look around for more diamonds and... Maybe it's worthwhile, actually. Should we? Okay, let's do the tiniest bit of looking. See any diamonds? No. See any diamonds? Oh, I do see any diamonds. Okay. Sorted. So we'll just mine up to there. That can make us, like, a chest plate or something and just give us, like, one more layer of security so we don't get, like, wrecked. Okay, well, there was w literally one diamond. So all of that... Oh, no, 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 it's more, it's more. All that luck I was complaining about... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Okay, so we've got a bunch of it now. Now we need to get out of this place. And this is where the ladders are going to come in super crucial, right? Because we're very low down. I almost died there. Um, <laughs> very, very almost died there. Actually, let's get this uh, coal while we're here. Because we need coal to, like, cook all the stuff we're cooking. So let's just get, like, some amount of coal. I don't know how much, but, like, we can waste, like, 20 seconds on coal, I'm sure. It'll probably save us more than 20 seconds in the future. So I'm cool with doing that. And then we'll mine our way up slowly. Oh, no, never mind. And let's do this. So we're going to stack ourselves up a little bit. Two blocks. And then we're going to start the ladder craziness. So go, 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 ladders. <laughs> we're going to run out of ladders. And then we're just going to bring out a new stack. And we're going to keep all this up. Keep this up. So hello, everyone. Just joining in. Um, this is the speed run. We're doing this. We're... Doing really well at this, actually, so far. I'm pretty pleased with the time we're making. And I think it's gonna turn out pretty well for me. Except getting higher into this thing is proving to be trickier than I figured. So I guess we'll, like, go out another couple blocks. Again, if we get knocked by anything, it's just kind of, like, straight back to the Stone Age for us. So, place a block there. There we go. So just race up before that zombie can even try and hit me. So this is, this is the one downside of like, okay, and then we're going to like switch to the left a little bit there. <laughs> this is the one down. Oh no, there's a zombie coming. There's a zombie coming. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's that's all good. Didn't really want to be up there anyway. <laughs> At least we're alive. We have our we have our safety, our health. And for that, we can be thankful or whatever. People say that all the time, but I'm never thankful for my health because, you know, I was healthy before I was thankful. I don't need to be thankful for this. Um... Yeah, it looks like we're going to make it all the way out now. I feel like there might have been a faster way to do this. Maybe if I'd, like, chopped down more trees, I could have stacked all the way. Rather than using ladders, actually. <laughs> but now I've got a way back in, if I need more obsidian. And I think you do to make a um, make an enchantment table. So if, if we do, we'll come back here. I hope we don't. It'll be pretty slow. But we got that. So cat, the bird escaver has picked block. Oh, yeah, so, so there's a regular version, but I forgot... That it works in survival here too. So if I want to pick up sand, I just have to press up. Oh, I don't have any sand. Well, I would just have to press up <laughs> if I, if there was some. And now we're gonna look for Enderman because if we can find one, it'd be nice. It's not affection. I mean, like it's not necessary, but an Enderman would be nice. Nope, just just husks. That's all you want to give me, game. I'll take it, I guess. Also, we've got one of these pumpkins, which is very conveniently spawned just over here. Because, guess what? I love me a pumpkin. And we use it if we're looking at Enderman or anything like that. But nope, it looks like we're just about done with, like, 
stuff that requires us here. A lot of these villagers are going to die tonight. That is the sad truth we have to be prepared for. But that's fine. Villagers die. It's the sad truth of the world. But it's the truth. Okay, next up. Let's make ourselves... Oh, wait. Make ourselves the thing. So I need to actually learn how to use this inventory much faster. Like, it's horrible. I'm, I'm horribly slow of using it. I'm going to waste a bunch of time on that. But I guess that's fine. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And we've got ourselves a portal. So the only thing we need now is probably a bit of gravel. Oh, no, no, my, my inventory glitched. It wasn't letting me, like, close it because the zombie was attacking me. I've never seen that one before. So I should probably just not even care about these guys, but, like, a part of me feels compelled to try and kill them. And now we find the gravel, which I think we saw in here. Oh, no, we need gravel. Gravel will be the savior today. I genuinely do not have any gravel, so... Either I put some in the chest, which is a possibility. Oh, we found a cave. Okay. Oh, which led right into the stronghold anyway. If I'd have just dug, like, two more blocks, I could have saved myself a little bit of time. Whatever, that's fine. We just need gravel. Only here for the gravel. That's what all the people say. When they oh, there we go. Found gravel. It's going to cause a big, like, fall. <laughs> but that's fine. Grab a bit. Oh, wow. There is a cave that could have led here, even. I didn't spot that. But there is genuine... Okay, so for the future, this run can be made even faster. There's like a straight up cave into the the stronghold. But that's not important. All that's important is getting uh, flint, which involves us punching gravel repeatedly. As a fun fact, you can't like keep punching gravel. Like It's a little bit slower to do it. You're going to have more of a delay, if that makes sense. Can you see how I'm punching it, but it's not like going most of the time? Just a weird little observation. And we do this repeatedly until Flint comes out. <laughs> when does Flint come out? See, look, I'm punching it, but it's not working just then. So now we get some Flint steel, light the portal up, and let's see where it takes us. Well, I mean, I know where it's going to take us, but let's see how this works out. Oh, okay. So we're in. Oh, we got our first achievement into the Never. So we're in the Never now. And there's our fortress. So I said it was going to be a lot slower, again, in theory, because of the lack of fortresses. But there's one next to spawn anyway, so... Another thing that was just made a lot easier than it should have been, I guess. And we'll mine our way into it. And now Neverbrick is going to be our block of choice for the day. So we just need to kill six or seven blazers. Maybe more, maybe less. Work it out as we go. See, on, on console, blazers are super strong right now. So, like, these, these blazers are, like, super weak, in my opinion. So, there's, like, there's at least some benefit off the fact that we got a new version. Because the, bla the blazers were super weak on console, and then they got super strong. There was no in-between. They're either one or they're the other. Which is pretty strange when you think about it. Okay, so we got this sorted. That zombie pigment has an enchanted sword, and I really want it, but I shouldn't, so I won't. But I'd like it to be known that I want it. <laughs> I could have gone and got it. It just wouldn't have been a good idea. Okay, now we're gonna go down here. Actually, I'm gonna get my pork chops out first. Because we've got a big fight up ahead. One hit. Remember, you have to, you have to be really careful with your hit timing on the new version. Is the random seeds this game, man? This is a predetermined seed. I hadn't checked it enough. I only checked it to find where the stuff was. Sorry, where the uh, the stronghold was. And if it had loot, it had both the things. I also a ravine. So I figured it was good enough. Okay, we're good. Now we hit the blaze. Who, again, who hasn't even been requiring us yet? But that's a okay with me. And we got our first blaze rod. Okay, awesome. Oh, and we also just got into fire. Awesome. 0.81%. That's that's pretty rare, isn't it? Okay, go. It's nice that the, the cooldown is also a little bit lower between hits. Okay, let's do this. Go, 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 go. There's, there's four of them. Okay. If we ignore the fiery blazing inferno, things are going pretty well for me right now. <laughs> okay, go, go. Again, we have to get the timing right. It's like the brand new combat, honestly. In a way. It really is a little bit like that. It's pretty nuts. 
Um, so, so yeah, um, how do you get mod- uh, moderators are just the frequent chatters and like they're helping out. It's not like this grand status, it is really just like helping out in the chat. Uh, so right now we got Spoily Hamster I believe, who's helping out. But yeah, don't, don't worry about that too much. Okay, so we got four blaze rods. That's pretty good. We need more though, so it's- the fastest strategy is generally to just wait around her. They'll come to us. We don't have to worry about that. So, can you transfer your Xbox worlds to Pocket? Um, yes, technically. I couldn't tell you how, though. So, we'll just craft this and that. Hope that- no, 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 no! Okay. Okay, I'm on fire. That's okay. Being on fire is acceptable in today's modern world. <laughs> I just have to hope it doesn't happen again. Okay, I've got five blaze rods now. Okay, we're good. We, we did it. We're out of there. There's one more blaze rod in the tunnel for some reason. A blaze... blaze in the tunnel? Just not blaze rod. Okay, I'm basically dead. Like, I could die to any one catastrophic event. Speaking of one catastrophic event, <laughs> let's go around that. I mean, we need blocks anyway, so let's just get a bunch of Neverack. And let's do this. So 25 minutes, we've got all the blazes we need. Now it's just down to the end of pulse again. This is always where the game slows down on the console. Uh, the old console version, the addition. But I'm hoping it'll be a little bit faster here. But we don't know for sure until we do it. So let's find our way out of here. Mark this with like a cobblestone block or something. Oh look, there was more of the Never Fortress over there. For some reason I took a turn into something I didn't need to. And then we'll place like some blocks over here and over here so I can feel a little bit safer. <laughs> so boom, we're out there. We've got all of the blaze powder we need. Now we just need to get IF Enders. That's literally everything we need to do now, I think. Actually, a full suit of fine armor or diamond armor in some cases would be good. Like, I guess a diamond sword and then like an iron sh diamond chest plate would be good. But everything else has to be iron. And we need to get that. Like, we can't just ignore that. Well, no, we'll do that while we look for Enderman sometime, though. So, into the end we go. Let's see if we can find Enderman. Chat, I really need to know. So, you can't look at the uh, hop uh, hop animation when mining. Yeah, it's useful. It lets you know when you break something. But I need to know, chat, um, if you're familiar with the Pock Edition, then can you tell me if you can find Enderman in the Never yet? Because you should be able to. I mean, it makes sense that you're able to. Oh god, they are horrifying, the, like the gas noise in this version. Like, it's it's generally unique. Like, that's a horrifying tiny detail. That's a video title right there. Five horrifying tiny details about the pocket edition. So we're going to run along this just because the gas will knock it down. And I think that's going to be funny. I guess they're maybe easier to attack. Like, they give you more... Oh, no, no you don't. So, um, no you don't, YOLO. That's not the best responses. Do you find a, a ghast, uh, no, uh, Enderman in the Never? YOLO. I mean, it's true. If, if I die, I will not be able to live again. Yo, no, yes, yes. Yes, but they're rare. Oh, they're really rare in the, ne in the Never. Because they're quite common in the console Never. But, like, I don't see any here, so you could be onto something. You could be. It seems highly possible that you're right. Yes, Enderman's in Windows 10 never. Interesting, interesting. Well, now we've gotten that out of the way. I mean, we can look for them. Okay, so once 30 minute mark hits, or I think it'll be about 32 minute mark, we should be able to go back to the other world to find these, or go underground or something. But until then, the never is still my best bet, even if they're rare. Which is awful knowing that you're looking around somewhere to find something you probably won't find. But whatever. Bad things happen all the time. Even to good people. So next step, I guess, is just do a whole bunch of searching. Or digging. Yeah, let's get that Nevrak we need. Sure, why not? It's a good mining block, and if we go far enough, we'll eventually hit the thing. So that's all good. I see them all the time, the never says Mr. Lags Gaming. See, that's interesting then that you find them so often, but I do not. I wonder why that is. 
So, um, hello. Hey, everyone, just join the stream. There's, there is a lot of people in here. That's how, that's how live stream chat works. Wouldn't it be cool? Oh! I wonder if people prefer the live streams where there's less chatters. Or they prefer the ones where it's like, you know, 2,000 people like now. Because that means they're like, oh yeah, but this is like a big event. I feel like as a viewer, it's better to have more people watching. But as a chatter, it might be better to have like, you be the only guy there. But then, there aren't many good streams where you're going to be the only person. So, I guess it's a balance you've got to make. It's a balance. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's no endment. We're coming up on the 30 minute mark, so... I guess overworld it is. Should we tame like a, a horse or something? I guess I can't, so we should look around the, sh the nether fortress. Maybe find some of those ores I was mentioning. Okay, this is just asking for death. Oh god. <laughs> so, oh, there we go, we found our enemy. We found one. I can't get down to him easy. But it's good to see him there. Yeah, let's, let's like make a little tunnel down to him. And hope he's not gone by the time I get there. So this is my first test. This is my first Enderman kill on the Pocket Edition. I do believe. Okay, I'm going to fall, but it's okay. I'll just let myself fall. Ouch. Hello there, friend. Good to see you. I'm just making a tunnel. No need to pay attention to me. Okay, there is. Oh, they, they run so fast in this version. Oh, man, that was nuts. Okay. Can we get an end pearl? Okay, it's good. My inventory's full, so I wouldn't have got it anyway. But he didn't drop one. But that was, that was a good first experience. Even scarier than before. And now we've got about two minutes to get to the overworld before nighttime. Or realistically, like a minute and a half or something. So by the time you get there, it will be dark. Which is good news. That's, that's good stuff. So the fastest way there, I think, is to mine through this. Again, just, just follow me on this one. I believe if we mine diagonally, we end up here. Yep, there we go. See, it all links together. As long as you know you never. You can do some crazy stuff like that. See, working about coordinates has like, really trained you to train me to like hone my senses of like what's in what direction. You can't memorize it like by your coordinates. You have to just think, like I'm this far, I'm that far. It's like being lost in the forest, except if you get lost, you lose your house and everything you know and love. So... Bad stuff. There we go. See, just about turning night time. And that means it's our time to shine. After we put stuff away, of course. Because you don't want the messy stuff, like, weighing me down. Just doesn't make any sense to keep it on me. And we'll put the coal in the furnace. Just, just because. Actually, we'll make some torches too. Not that I need it, but maybe I'll need it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just being a hoarder. <laughs> Let's do this, though. Let's do this. So, target is Enderman. There's no second target. There's just... Yeah, just, just one thing I want to get. That's Enderman. That's all I'm amazingly concerned with. And hopefully we find one. Or a group. They spawn technically in groups of five. But you never see them in groups like that. Because of the way the spawning works. So even though it's dark, you can see quite well right now. I think my brightness has turned up a little bit. Because the game is slightly like more adjusted than normal to like actually let you see it at night. Whereas the console just done this like blackness. So that's something. Uh, uh, 480p. Uh, did YouTube drop something? No, it didn't. So it must be your individual connection if it suddenly got bad. I know that's not good to hear, but it's the truth. So there's actually a village just over here too. That's pretty good stuff. I'm gonna quickly open my water bottle because I need some water. So I'm just going to generally run in this direction. Like, I've only got one finger on my con or one hand on my controller. Because I really, really need to drink. Oh, an enemy, an enemy. So they seem to be quite rare here too. But maybe slightly higher currents than console? Maybe not. Could be imagining it. Could not be. Harpy, sir. Oh, no, we messed that up. I'd be certain, honestly. So we eat. Oh no, he teleported. Okay, and there's a zombie here. So the bad news is if he gets to me, the Enderman has really. Oh, there's two. Okay. Come get me. Come get me. Okay, he's coming to get me. <laughs> Just like I planned. Oh god, how did he do that? How did... 
Okay. So he can attack you from behind. Oh, he can- Really, is that- Is that fair? That doesn't seem fair. The fact that he can attack through walls. I'm just gonna eat some rock flesh. Keep the engine going. Oh, man! <laughs> okay, so his attacks are very much designed to make- Make him a tricky fight to just, like, cheese like this. Oh god, see, he tanked me from behind there, so we can- And then he, like, runs, runs around the front. Once he's knocked you a little bit. Oh god, uh, he's actually- He's killed me! What?! <laughs> that fight is not fair. That fight was- Like, he hit, he was hitting me through walls there. That is so crazy. I've never seen- Okay. So, I wasn't expecting that. I, I had never fought a, a, an enemy competition before. And- Oh my god! Why are they more OP on the version where you have to use your, like, your fingers to control? <laughs> you figured they'd be like less powerful here, but not Pocketish and Enderman. They will wreck you, even if you got a little stronghold. That's how okay. Is that is that a glitch by the way, chat? Like, do I have to just make bigger things, or can they always attack through walls? Is it like designed to stop you doing that? Because that just seemed like unfair, right? I mean, tell me, tell me if you're wrong, right? Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Uh, kill them with water. Uh, water makes them teleport. It doesn't kill them. And you don't want them to teleport. You really don't want to teleport. Build up four blocks and hit him. That's not a bad idea. Not a toy cat stream for you doesn't die, says Leonie Dowling. <laughs> That's a good point. This every, every toy cat stream has a death in it. Has at least one death. And that's the toy cat death today. <laughs> oh, that's so depressing. Like, what? I, You feel so helpless when you've locked yourself in a little safe place. And the Edmund says, you know what? All the rules about how... Oh, wait, did he remove block, maybe? No, he didn't. He just he could attack through walls. So let's put the armor on. I had armor. That's the worst, but yeah, this is like bad on multiple levels. We'll get a bow out as well. Let's do this. So, oh, he's already attacking me. He's <laughs> okay, but he's already mostly dead. First end up off the game. We need 11 more. And there's our first start, I guess. So to be even more safe this time, because that's what we have to do. I'm just going to dig into the wall here. Because that worked the first time. It'll work this time too, I reckon. I don't have any food if he does start to mess me up, so... Makes it truly essential that I get him. Oh god, where'd he teleport? Where'd he teleport? Oh god! <laughs> okay, so assuming he can't get me here. If he can, then, you know, I just die again. That's fine. See, I guess he does deliberately try to stop you cheesing him like this. Let's go out there. Let's go. Oh, God. See, he just jumped in front of me as I did that. This, These Endermen are, like, incredibly lethal. Incredibly lethal. But that's fine. We got our second one killed. We need to get 11 Ender Pearls. For 11 of our Enders. It seems like a simple task. But it all depends on drop rates. And apparently it depends on, like, my skill in not getting slain. Which right now isn't looking the most like the most promising thing in the world. So now we're gonna run back a little bit. Cause we'll be back at the portal by daytime. There's no blacksmith chest here to loot, it doesn't seem. Well and that's the only thing we really care about here. Like I'm sure they have other things that are nice to check out. But we're just here for the blacksmiths. You can get ender pearls in stronghold chests. Uh, it's true, but it's not like a good primary place to look for them. Like, my time is better spent on the surface for now. Maybe tonight I'll go there, or like to this morning, or whatever. But for this night, the best place for me to be is the surface. Looking for Enderman every way I know how. Try to get a looting sword for the Enderman. Yeah, that's another good way, I guess. Um, but the time it'd take me to get looting... Actually, no, I can get looting pretty quickly. I need four... Yeah, I'll make, I'll make a looting... Oh, I'll try and get looting. No, I can't try and get looting, because I only have level 3. If you're lucky on those enchantments, you can do it, I reckon. But that's a big if. That's a very big if. I heard a teleport. So I'll look over there, just in case. You never want to miss a teleport. Try and crit them, it'd be easier. Yeah, I guess if they're going to be so, like, crazy damaging, I guess crit critical hitting them is my best bet. Yeah, I guess so, I guess so. so we, we need some food desperately. That can be like, go one. 
Goal two is go to the end, never. Lots of stuff and get that all done. Oh, we don't have lapis, so we can't enchant anywhere. But I will do a I will do a run around the stronghold and I'll check for ender pearls. It might help me out. So you can know the beta runs over, says PGC Marco. Thank you very much for the $2 Canadian uh, super chat. Uh, the beta's over when the full version comes out, and the full version comes out in the next month or so. We don't know exactly when, and either do they. Like, it's when it's finished. There's no, like, set date or anything. At least not that we know of. So there you go. Now you know. Now we're good. Hope I answered your question. Thank you for funding the jet ski dream. Because that's what you really did there. So okay, I challenge you not to die in the next stream. Creative mode and cheats are not allowed, because those will make you invisible. <laughs> Could try and do a whole stream without dying. It's, uh, it's possible. I will just, I'll, I'll die regardless, you know. I'll say I won't die, and then I will die. That's just how these things tend to work out for me. So, we don't need a bunch of this stuff now anymore. Like, wooden pickaxe, really. Single bit of wheat. Actually, let's use wheat. Let's just half still. Actually, maybe carrots. No, wheat, wheat's the best one. There's just not much of it going around. Okay, maybe I guess it will be carrots. Let's just use this as food. Because it does the job. So whatever. Carrots are food now. Oh no, they're so... Okay, no, they're pretty good. One and a half. I guess they weren't nerfed on the pocket edition. Or maybe they were nerfed everywhere else, but not here. I could have spawned they were weaker than one and a half. But one and a half's like, doable. Those are potatoes. Those are potatoes. These are also potatoes. Everything's potato. <laughs> yeah, literally, literally everything is potato. I sh just got the one farm of carrots. Everything else in the whole world. It's all potatoes. It's all potatoes. Potato, 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 potato. So it's raining during the day, which is really bad news. Because although mobs will spawn, endermen will not spawn because they'll just teleport. So we got the worst of both worlds there. And we don't get food because there's no carrots. So... Basically, not a good time to be Toy Cat. Good time to be anything but Toy Cat, though. So, invest in your not Toy Cat shares. Oh, here are the carrots. They're right over here. Okay, easy enough stuff. So, we'll just grab all the carrots we can. Oh, Enderman! Right there, in the savannah. Oh, no! He just teleported. But where? There he is, there he is. So, I'm just going to do this out in the open. Because clearly my dugouts are not working. Go, go, go. You want to do this? You want to do this? You want to do this? Yeah, no, you, you don't want to do this. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually kind of a fun fight if we have to stay out in the open. Because he really knows how to do this. Got one hit. Where's he at? Where's he at? It's like a crazy PvP, honestly. Oh, there we go. We got him. He's done. He's dead. That's two of the 11 enderpearls we need to win this. Whew. Stay in the desert. It won't rain there. Yeah, it doesn't rain in deserts, it doesn't rain in savannah biomes. But Enderman won't spawn, I don't believe. Which is weird. Uh, Admiral Hade sends in a $2 super chat and says, Cash uh, sorry, just Q, would you ever consider doing Minecraft PC Live? Big thank you for the £2 super chat. And uh, I've done Minecraft PC Live before. I usually play PC servers, because like, the PC survival game isn't too much. But, yeah, I play Bed Wars a bit on the PC. Let's do this. Let's knock one of these back. Why is it so strange, like, the delay and the noise, it's all off. It's a little bit horrifying, truthfully. Okay, so now we're just not going to get anything done here. Let's go find ourselves some Edmund, and let's do it. So yeah, carrots are not a good permanent food, but they're a good holdover food. Until we find something we like forever. And, you know, they'll, they'll do. That's their ring endorsement they get from me. They'll do, I guess. <laughs> and we'll use them until we find something better. And we'll just keep running around the end, uh, the never, sorry. If we're in the end, we'd find a lot more never, uh, endermen. That's for sure. And eventually we'll find one. I want to check the same spot we found one before, just in case, like... Because people say, like, lightning never strikes tri twice in the same place. That's like saying, like, the same no lottery numbers will never win twice. And it's like, it's true, but that doesn't make it some amazing fact. I mean, it's, sorry, it's not even true. 
It's just it's never going to happen because, like, the odds of one time is pretty rare. So the odds of twice is... I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. There could be, like, a real genuine, like, science fact of, like, when lightning is struck somewhere, it becomes immune from lightning attacks in the future. But I don't believe that's the case. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying, though. Um, make golden carrots. I do love golden carrots as a food, but I don't have enough gold. And even if I did, there's so many better ways to spend it than golden carrots. So, not today, I'm afraid. Not today. There we go, Enderman. So, same thing as before. We've determined it's not even worth... We'll make a dugout anyway, actually. Go, you want to do this? You want to do... Oh, God. Oh, God. Come get me, come get me. So hopefully this will work, because it's like, it's in an environment where he has to come and do this. I mean, it didn't work. It, it, it killed him, but it's not quite the perfect thing I'd imagine. So we're going to make blaze powder, because I need a bunch of that. And we want to make fenders till we're done, because it's just one extra slot. In theory, isn't it likely for the same number to win the same lottery again? Uh, sorry. In theory, isn't it just as likely for a number to win the lottery again as it does the first time? Yeah, it is, but that's just why it's so insanely unlikely. Because the odds of it winning the first time are already so low. So then you multiply that by the odds of it winning again, and it's like, whoa. This this is one that like really breaks people when you think about it. If you pick the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, those numbers are just as likely to win the lottery than any other numbers uh, that you can get. Or like, you know, 10, 20, 30... You know, like, no matter what the numbers are, they're always just as likely. But a lot of people get broken when they realize that, like, 1, 2, 3, 4 is just the same as every other number you can do. Oh god, oh god, I can't get in the hole in time. Okay, let's save. So, free, uh, free end pearls. That's good. Making good time, I guess. Could be better. Could be worse. Kind of just in between. So, when it comes to 50 minutes, that's when we go back to the other world. It's safe and stuff. And in the meantime, we should keep running around and looking. Like a headless chicken, honestly. Uh, it looks like they don't spawn rarely or frequently. It's somewhere in between. Use snowballs to kill blazers. That's a good way for UHC or for, like, not taking damage. But for speedruns, it's not faster. It's just, like, a cool thing you can do, you know? Which might be what you're going for. But cool is not how you win... Not how you kill the dragon fast. Cool is how you impress people on the internet. Which maybe is what I should be doing, you know? It is a live stream. Maybe I should just spend the whole thing trying to be like, look, look, you can kill things like this. You know, maybe that, in fact, that totally is what I should be doing. Hey guys, did you know you can kill blazers using only snowballs? For just the small price of 5,000 likes, I will kill Enderman, sorry, uh, blazers, using only snowballs. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? So let's get down here. So can't you missed an ender dragon? <laughs> I want, I, I, I do want, I want to know if like these you missed a thing jokes are like just for my streams or if it's like a, a stream joke in general. I still don't know, but I like to believe it's like a special joke just for like toy cat followers or the toy kittens, if you will. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. Um... See, when you run out of rods, you just sing the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. Or another good one is uh, Skyrim's. They sound really similar to each other. That's something I've noticed by doing these things. <laughs> okay, so we didn't find anyone there. It's almost 50 minutes. I really hope we find another one because, like, eight more Enderman is going to take way too long. Use a bed to kill mobs. See, the problem with a bed is, like, no matter where you activate it from, unless you have a resistance effect, like fire resistance or explosion resistance, you take enough damage to um, die. And dying is not one of my favorite things to do. I would not recommend dying to anyone. You know, pro tip, if you're considering dying, it's actually not a good idea. Clever name, Toy Kittens, is the man of random stuff. That uh, plays random stuff. Um, yeah, I, I like the name. I I like to believe I, I put a little bit of thought into all the names. Like, okay, you know what? Let me brag for a little bit, just a second. Everyone loves that my second channel is called IDX2Cat. And I was like, yeah, I'm 
I know, I'm, I'm smart, I'm clever. It's good, I, I get it. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, jump over there. Let's do our stuff. And, okay, we're all good here. Hi, it's a cat, says Bendy Gaming. Hello, are you lefty or righty, says Prentice of Jelly Beans. Um, I am right-handed, as is pretty much any person. Although it's funny, there's a really weird, like, statistical thing where, like, four of the last five presidents were left-handed, not right-handed. Even though they're, like, one in, like, I think it's, like, one in, like, six people is left-handed. But somehow, four of the last presidents were. Uh, it's just, it's one of those things that, like, I think about every now and then, I'm like, there's got to be something weird about being left-handed. Because everyone I knew who was left-handed... Like you, you never find some. You never find out someone's left-handed, and then you're like, "Oh, wow, that's that's a different thing." It's always like, "Oh yeah, you're slightly different, and you're also left-handed." That's just that's, that's that's what I find. Maybe it's just my life. Maybe not. I could be wrong. But yeah. So next goal is get these Endermen killed. It should be easy. It just isn't right now. <laughs> so whatever. We'll, we'll go to the overworld. Because I'm scared to go further afield. But I can't stay here forever. I guess. I mean, I could stay here forever. It just wouldn't be very entertaining. Wait, an enemy down there, maybe? Let's find out. Let's find out. Anything over here? Okay. Never mind. Oh, th th my portal's over there. Okay, so we just have to get over there. I didn't realize I was so much above my portal. I thought my portal was in a different direction altogether, so I'm glad I checked her. It's, it's good. It means I don't get hurt. 80% of my teachers are left-handed, says Alpha Modem. See, that makes it even more suspicious. I reckon left-handed people are genuinely different in some way. Like, I think their brain is wired different, so certain things that are done by the right cortex, like right, right hemisphere, sorry, off the brain are done by the left hemisphere. I reckon there's something crazy like that going on behind the scenes. And that's why that is. I mean, I'm not a scientist though. I'm just a cat that knows some left-handed people. <laughs> but let's, go, let's do this. Let's get these Endermen killed. So we get you missed some Neverack. <laughs> okay, we're here. We're doing this. Enderman, where are you at? Come, come get your comeuppance. So, yeah, if I could find snowballs, it'd be good for the end, actually. Would save me a bit of time with that. What's the easiest way to find snowballs? Find a snowy biome. What's the easiest way to find a snow biome? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> like, no, I guess you don't find them bordering these really hot biomes. But maybe that is obvious for itself. Okay, so there's nothing over here. So we come back. Now we run this way a little bit. Again, I don't know. I don't know enough about the way mob spawning works to like make a true prediction of the best pattern. But it probably involves something like, oh yeah, you run in every direction, and then the mobs pop out. Because the mob, the mob render distance seems to be a lot lower than the render distance for like lots of other things. So you have to be near them to know if they're there. Like if we look in the forwards direction, a skeleton or something would appear out of nowhere. A creeper, there you go, is it? And a house. They didn't just spawn, they just rendered in, you know? So there's Enderman somewhere around me. I just have to be able to find them. Like over there, is that an Enderman? That's a spider. It's a little bit like an Enderman. Except all the ways in which it's not. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep running around. Uh, we'll run around the savannah because we also got a chance of uh, finding animals there. Animals are good. And we've got to stay out of the rain. Because you don't find any Enderman where there's rain. So yeah, Enderman, come, come, come say hi. It's funny because I, I would have figured this would be faster, like to find the Enderman. But I guess the Enderman process is like the bottleneck on any run. Uh, I, I guess the only way you can really avoid that is by having a seed with like 11 eye offenders already in the portal or something. So you only ever have to do this once. Oh, there we go, Enderman in the distance. I saw him. So we're going to eat all the way up to the top, just in case this goes bad. Because it sometimes does. And he teleported. 
It seems they're way more teleporting on this version. So we stick with our backs to the wall. Oh, okay, we can't stay back to the wall when there's a zombie there. But it's fine, we're good. We didn't get an end pot again. We're getting pretty unlucky. You passed one, you missed an endman toy cat. You sure about that? There was actually an endman there. Oh, really? It was there? I'll run back there. So I, I thought I... Okay, then we got a second endman here. It's good, we're good. We're on track to do this. Oh, there we go. There's one over there. Did he see me or something? Come try, try. Keep doing your thing. Keep teleporting down there. It's a really good idea. It's working out for you. So I'm not sure if I got an end pole there. I'm honestly not. Yeah, I did. Okay, so we're on seven to go. Seven to go. Awesome. Uh, this savannah's giving me pretty good luck. So we're going to stay here. And then we'll go back to where we're going. Because it should stay there, hopefully. It's funny that apparently... I, I'm not sure if I did miss the thing. I'll check the stronghold. I'll check the stronghold uh, the next next time it's day. Because the never's not working out for me anymore. Let's go to the stronghold. Strongholds always work out. That's why they're called strongholds. Because they have a stronghold of your trust. That's a true story. Definitely didn't make that up just now. So daytime's coming. Again, no good sign. But it might... We might still find Endman spawning, or we might find Endman that have spawned already. Again, this is really bad luck if we... Oh, Endman over there. No, don't walk in the water. Don't walk in the water. You don't want to do that, Endman. You don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. Why are you doing this? Whatever, that's fine. Oh, no, I didn't eat. I didn't eat. Okay, we're going to just sit in the middle of the water. I'm going to eat my carrots. And I'm going to regenerate before I finish this fight. Oh god. So, there's a zombie on both sides of me. Oh, we killed him. Yeah, he died. <laughs> See, that's how you kill an enderman. If you're not sure how to kill an enderman. You wait in water until he eventually dies by himself. Because he's really eager to, he was really eager to come and kill me. He just wasn't aware that the water would be bad enough to kill him first. See, it looked like daytime was rising, but maybe not. I'm ambidextrous, says uh, Hyper Megasonic. Ah, that means you use both your hands. It's always fun to talk to ambidextrous people too. Because then you feel like, but which hand's better? You're not really both-handed, you're just making it up. It's actually, you know, for the longest time, we used to tell left-handed people in school that they're just making it up. And like, most ambidextrous people are just left-handed people that had to learn to write their right. It's really weird the way they do that. Like, no, 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 trust me. You, you want to be using your right hand. Although I always thought it was awful in schools, they had to make like left-handed scissors and it's like, you know, we, maybe you should just use the right-handed ones. Maybe they're just as good. You don't know. But, but I don't know, I, I don't, I, I've never been left-handed, so. I've been complaining about something that doesn't technically affect me very much. Oh, well, baked potatoes, that's how we'll get food. Because there's only potatoes in the village, but I have coal. So we'll just bake them. It'll be good. Baking's fun. No Enderman anywhere around here. We'll go back to the spot where there where the, was supposedly one before. And we'll do it that way. What's your favourite boss, says uh, Wizel. My favourite boss in Minecraft, I assume you mean. I know, I, I think the Wither's the best one because of the way they added it. It's like, when you kill it, you get something of real value to your whole Minecraft world. Um, like, the Tome of Undying's good. But it's no beacon, you know? It's no beacon. Let's, let's run back over here. Chat reckons there was an enderman here. It might have been. It might have gone missing. It might not. Have. We'll find out, I guess. So, cat, there was an enderman ages ago, and you said no, it's not an enderman. So that was over here. Oh, there's an enderman. Is that the same one? Is this the one you thought you saw, chat? Tell me now, and I'll comment on whether I was silly or not. All good stuff. I'm left-handed and I say your hand racist as kid is jamming. <laughs> I think that's fine. Thank you for your... Uh, I wanted to get my... Your first hit should always be a critical because that's the one you can, like, take your time with. But it wasn't in my case. No enderpearl again? What am I doing to deserve all this? Who did I offend? Like, am I, was it all the hand racist people? I mean, all the left-handed people. I bet Endermen are just like throwing them all in the wrong hand. 
That's right. I said it. Endermen are probably left-handed. <laughs> okay, so anyway, looking around. Because we've got to find a group of people every stream. I think today's group is left-handed people. Or can we really even call them people? Am I right? <laughs> but no, let's do this. So we're going to climb. We're going to make a little bridge over this thing. Just for fun, more than anything. And let's find some Enderman. So the dark's a good place to find Enderman. So we'll look around the caves. Around the spawn too. It might, we might just get lucky. We might. Like, probably not. But it could happen. So, okay. Um, I saw another Enderman. You saw another one? The speedrun gods hate your anti-left-handed comments. That's right, yeah, this, this, the speedrunning gods, they're all left-handed. And they're being like, whoa. What's that, Sleek Cat? Making some pretty questionable statements right there. How about we uh, we mess with your your random a little bit, just to make it better. <laughs> so, um, I didn't use my hands to write, I probably write my feet. Yep, that's, that's, that's how many extra people in a nutshell right there. Yeah, you nailed him. Okay, let's let's find those potatoes from earlier. There's a bunch of them. That can be our food, just because, like, other stuff is not appearing. And potatoes, baked potatoes aren't a bad food. Oh, they're all mixed up because the villagers have gone by here. Oh, that's awful. 19 potatoes, not enough for the whole game. This is probably enough baked potatoes to last me the rest of the game. So we're going to go look below the stronghold and then do a little bit of never hunting and then there's another night where we'll be hopefully better. Again, like, I was I was really hoping to have a faster reaction, to, I don't know what to put it, like, go time than this. It's a little bit depressingly slow. But sometimes that's what happens, you know? Yeah, none of these were looting. If they were looting, I could have done something about that. But I'm at the mercy of the speedrun gods right now. And let me just tell you, they're not in a good mood of me. <laughs> they're not happy with what's been going on. So I'll put that in there too, I guess. Oh, did you see the way it split the stacks there? That was pretty cool. And now we've got potatoes. Okay, so we're going to go below the stronghold. There's a little cave over here. We might find Enderman. Like, realistically, we won't. But it's always a chance. Uh, if we find a really big cave... We've got an even better chance. But more importantly, we can find the iron we need. And we can maybe find enderpearls in the stronghold. So that's what we're really here for. So okay, I'm left-handed in Minecraft. Oh, you're on the PC because there's two hands. They actually let you switch your hands if you want to be a left-handed person. I think that's like a tiny nice detail, right? Not useful, but it's nice. Because, like, do you need to be left-handed in Minecraft? Probably not. But, like, it's cool that you can choose to be. That's the thing with most things in games. Like, most customization options, you don't care about them. Like, you don't want to use them yourself. But it's cool they exist. You can be like, well, I mean, if I did want to be this or that, then I could be. And that'd be great. Do you want to do that? No, no, no. That'd be silly. <laughs> That's my rough experience, anyway. So yeah, we're going to look through this whole stronghold. Which, again, it's, it's a giant stronghold. I just happened to spawn in the right bit. And we'll look around for chests of any variety. Because uh, there's lots of places chests can spawn in these things. And I'm sure... Oh, there we go. We found a mob spawner before we found a chest. Oh, see that? Any endermen around there? It's a skeleton spawner, because of course it is. So this is, this is useful. We can use this maybe to our advantage. So, what's over there? There's some skeletons over there. They're coming to me. How do they know I'm here? Oh, because they can see me through the glitch, I guess. So, we'll mine their spawner. Because I don't care for it. And we'll kill the skeletons. Oh, he dropped his helmet. That's cool. I can have a gold helmet now. And, oh. Respiration of flame. Infinity. So, if we make an anvil... Yeah, if we make an anvil, we get the infinity charmer, which is actually really a good thing. So let's get a bunch of iron. And... I mean, it's not that useful. It's not, it's not like... It doesn't save me enough time. It's just cool. But we'll do it if we can find enough iron as we go along. Because iron's, like, really quick to find. And because we're theoretically looking for enemy anyway. 
this could pay off. This could pay off. Let's just find all the iron we can grab. That's a cool glitch. Yeah, it's a pretty cool glitch. Again, I, this happens all the time with this rendering engine. I guess because it's infinite worlds. More stress now or something. Call the glitch police. <laughs> Says hype for Megasonic. You know what? We should, we should alert the glitch police immediately. I'm not sure if they know of this. Grievous. Egregious? Egregious. Uh, abuse that's been going on. Okay, so nothing up here, but we'll break up anyway. You gotta be certain there's nothing. You don't wanna settle for just like, probably nothing. So, um, put infinite on the bow. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. Put it on the bow. That way I don't need arrows. But I can t take down the towers faster. But no, this, this isn't like. This isn't really working out for me. It would be, you know, truthful about it. It's just not happening. <laughs> Flight up caves, use the Nevrak and Flint and Steel. Yeah, that's something I could do as well to save myself torches. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, it's not necessary. It's just a nice thing I can do. So let's look around the rest of this. Again, we've got five minutes till daytime uh, nighttime comes again. And let's just hope we can slay Enderman and, like, really get this going. Because they're, they're slowing down the run a tiny bit. I want to keep things at maximum speed. And they're slowing me down. They're keeping me from being the best I can be. I know the Xbox and PlayStation are dying, called the ambulance. Oh, wait, and the ambulance goes, wee you, wee you, wee you. I, I know that joke. Because Nintendo, right? Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep these things next to each other. And this is my official lighting source from now on. Also functions as a hostile weapon, if I want to hurt anyone. Which is nice. Sometimes you want to hurt people. It's fine. It's fine to want to hurt people. Sometimes. Uh, so yeah, we're going to just keep finding iron while we're here. Because, like, theoretically some of it could double stuff. You left the book behind. I think I found another infinity book, though. Like, I think that's my second infinite book. If it's not, then I'm, I'm going to look like an idiot. But I believe it is. You passed iron. Okay, so you need 37 iron for what we're trying to do, I think. Could be wrong. Could be right. Only one way to... Whoa, that's even cooler. Only one way to be certain. If we do it this way, we get enchantments too. Because, guess what? We got some lapis. Entirely unessential. But, why not, you know? Why not? <laughs> That's my question. So, six lapis. Now we can enchant if we want to. Do I need to enchant? Not really. Am I going to enchant anyway? Probably anyway, yes. <laughs> you left it behind. Uh, thank you for the heads up, but I... I think I already have an infinity book. It's just I realized I could do it then. Don't worry, I'm... I'm aware of my stuff. I got this. I got this. Because uh, I was lucky enough to get infinity in the way. But, oh, diamonds! Diamonds, 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 diamonds. And look, none of the blocks are mining. So I've got the diamonds. Oh, there's a skeleton in that magic... The, the diamonds are firing back. Oh, okay. That's something else. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was coming from the diamonds there. That seems ridiculous. But I swear I genuinely believe that. And then we'll throw away this bow. Put that one out instead. And let's actually mine these diamonds. So why, why are the blocks not... <laughs> this is the weirdest glitch. What is What has gone wrong here? So yeah, things are just not working in this cave. It's, oh, okay. Now in my blocks it's invisible. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This game isn't there. This Minecraft is not a fair game. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. I've got water on me. Go, oh, no. <laughs> oh. I, my blocks, what, what went wrong with them? I, ah, uh, what, yeah, uh, 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 what the, the, the game is not fair. Minecraft, this is, this is okay. I know it's a beta, but my Minecraft world has just, <laughs> like, it just stopped working <laughs> correctly. <laughs> what, like, what, what is this? So, okay, let's try, let's try. Um... 
So, yeah, I mean, I want—I said I wanted to do like a, a rerun sometime anyway. I just didn't assume it would be this fast. So we have to run through our caves again. Glitches are extremely illegal. Yeah, I, they, sh they should be. That glitch ruined my life. That was triple resting cats. So we have to try and work our way through the stronghold the way we, we did originally. We went into it through here. Then we kind of followed the place around. Uh, that might be the end of this run though, I think. I think that's ruined it, I think. The fact that I can't get back to my stuff might just make that the end. Like, I, I wanted... Uh, we'll, we'll definitely do a retake if this is the yeah, over. But if I can't get my stuff, then I can't. Because, like, there's that, that glitch is, like, game ruining. There's not much I can do when faced with that, really, is there? So I went back through this way. I looked for another exit to the right or left or something, maybe. Again, it's hard to, like, properly trace myself. But we'll get there. So there's the skeleton spawner. This is where I originally found the glitch. Oh, Alexa just randomly went off. It makes me uncomfortable when she does that. So there, there's my stuff down there, right? All I have to do is get to there. Which is a lot easier said than done. You can retake if you get your stuff. Yeah, I, 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 it be, there's a lot of stuff that like I found really fun about this run. That I knew I could do better in a second one anyway. So we'd get a better time regardless. So, you know, it's not all not all doom and gloom. I guess... That glitch is like... what, Like, the everything just stopped working. Like, I couldn't see where... All the blocks stopped, you know, existing properly. <laughs> and you might think, like, what's the big deal about blocks not existing? But it's actually a pretty big deal. As it so turns out. So this is the cave. Uh, this is the glitchy area. Okay. I got my stuff. Most of it, I think. Maybe all of it. Uh, we're missing something. Okay, we got the eye fenders. We got the blaze powder. But, oh man, these blocks don't exist still. So yeah, this is, this is like, horrific. But we can hopefully get out anyway, and we can just... Oh my god, Steve! Oh no, 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 what the heck? The, the blocks pushed me. They push you into lava, do you see that? It glitches you, you're walking into it, so it takes you to the right into lava. There is a glitch which pushes you into lava. <laughs> what? what? I shouldn't have walked in again, my bad, like, in my defense. But, <laughs> oh, okay, let's, let's wait until all the game breaking glitches are gone. This is the Xbox beta. It's the only the second update that's ever come out. There's a lot that needs to be done, but, Oh, no, oh, oh. Thank you very much for watching today's live stream. I know it was a tragedy. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna retake them. Look, just look at that. Like, it's just a giant hole. It only appeared when I was underground. And it means that, oh, there's water here. And it has the really unfortunate side effect of meaning stuff just like, I, it knocked me into love. What even is that? Okay, but yeah, so going onto this thing is really tricky. It seems even like to stand here. But yeah, this was the weirdest glitch. Oh, and we broke the game. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Like it if you Oh, oh my god, my eyes hurt. My eyes hurt. Okay, thank you very much for watching today's live stream. Like if you liked it. Share if you liked it. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these in the comments right now. I'll be around the live stream chat for about a minute after I go. Um, so I'll see you all for Seed Sunday in 10 minutes. If you want a seed that won't ever glitch, because it's one which can't glitch because it's an old world, Make sure you check out Seed Sunday in just 10 minutes. But for now, I'll see you all in the next live stream. When you try your best but you don't succeed is true. Yes. Bye. Oh, look. We did it in 1.13. Thank you, Shade Yuki, by the way, for the two bounce super chat. Super chat's always appreciated.